Okay, so uh, let's see uh, how to solve a linear system by using coefficient matrix. So in the first video, I forgot to mention that uh, so such a coefficient matrix can be represented as uh, like this. So let me choose uh, a color. Okay, so uh, such a matrix can represent as dash ax equal b. So this b basically uh, our given co uh, constant values, given constant values. This is our unknowns and this is our coefficients. So uh, when we are solving such a linear system by using coefficient matrix, uh, we have to. Uh, we have to identify these x values. So if, if we uh, suppose our a has a inverse, which means a is non-singular, a is non-singular, which means a having some inverse. So we know that uh, we can multiply uh, this uh, equation both side by uh, a inverse so it will be look like this so we know uh, by the rule of inversions this is just the identity matrix and we know again the rules of the identity matrix if we multiply any kind of a matrix uh, by identity matrix it will produce the exact same matrix so x so now we have a solution so if we know b and if we know a inverse by uh, multiplying those following matrices we can produce our uh, unknown our, uh, our unknown matrix the solution for our unknown matrix so that is the basic idea about solving linear system by using coefficient matrix all you have to identify a inverse and b so let's take some example let's say uh, we are given that uh, some kind of a linear system like this so 2x1 minus x2 3x3 equals 13 x1 x2 x3 equals to 12 then x1 2x2 x3 equals to 2 so this is a linear system uh, all we have to find out x1 x2 and x3 by using coefficient matrix so first um, we can uh, write our coefficient matrix so 2 minus 1 3 so these are just uh, the relevant coefficients then minus 1 plus 1 then 5 likewise 1 minus 2 minus 1 so it's our coefficient matrix then our unknown matrix is the column matrix x1 x2 x3 by the order of 3 cross 1 so the producing uh, matrix also will be the order of 3 cross 1 so let's say 12 so these are just the given constant values and these are will be represented in a uh, coefficient matrix so now uh, all we have to, to identify a inverse so we know that this is a and this is x and this is b so let's multiply both side by inverse so it will give a inverse b. so all we have to identify a inverse so we know that uh, we can find out a inverse by using our uh, cofactor method a12 alpha12 a13 alpha13 and uh, no, uh, this is just a determinant. Okay, this is just a determinant. 
then uh, afterwards we can uh, find our inverse using a joint method a joint okay. so all we have to uh, find out is alpha values okay uh, so first alpha 1 will be uh, minus 1 1 plus 1 then m1 1 will be 1 5 minus 2 minus 1 and likewise alpha 1 2 will be minus 1 1 plus 2 minus 1 1 5 minus 1 then alpha 1 3 will be minus 1 1 plus 3 minus 1 1 1 minus 2 so this will produce plus 1 minus 1 10 plus 2 9 this will produce minus 1 plus 1 and minus 6 so it will produce 5 this will produce plus 1 and 2 minus 1 which is 1 so likewise uh, we can uh, find out uh, each and every uh, uh, sorry uh, this one will be 5 and this one will be 4 so likewise we can uh, find out each and every uh, cofactors so I'm not going to uh, do everything because you have to follow exact same thing so by using by following exact same thing you can identify you can uh, find out these six uh, cofactors as well alpha 2 3 then alpha uh, alpha 3 1 and alpha 3 2 and alpha 3 3 uh, so I just write down the answers so later on you can uh, find out and uh, verify the values so this will be minus 5 this will be 3 this will be minus 8 this will be minus 13 this will be 1 ok so now uh, we can find out uh, the determinant as well so A was basically this procedure mm, so minus 2 minus 1 3 so minus 2 minus 1 3 then the corresponding alpha values so 9 4 and 1 then plus plus uh, then 18 4 plus 3 this will produce this will produce what um, uh, this will produce minus 1 minus 90 something like that so uh, now we have the determinant so a inverse will be minus 19 and the corresponding coefficient values uh, co uh, cofactor values so 1 minus 7 minus 5 3 and minus 8 minus 13 1 so now we have a inverse so x will be equals to a inverse b so we just put our a inverse over here and 9 4 1 minus 7 minus 5 3 minus 8 minus 13 and 1 so we know b 13 12 and 2 so by just multiplying these two matrices and this uh, scale as well we can uh, produce our unknowns our uh, solution for our unknowns so 
it will be some kind of uh, three values and yeah that is how uh, we solve a linear system by using a coefficient matrix or we have to uh, find out uh, the a inverse then we simply multiply it by b so it will produce the solution for one moment.